All right, werewolf. Are you ready to howl? Where's, I thought maybe it'd be behind me, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's, I know it looks fantastic out tonight. Oh, the moon is the amazing. The moon is incredible. Scott, tell us what's going to happen a little bit later this evening, That's early right, morning. Guys, a lot, kind of a lot later, after midnight into tomorrow morning, we have a total lunar eclipse coming in. This is a live view from the Ford Dealers Tower Cam, looking straight out to the moon. The full moon, okay? So if you look at the moon, you see that it's completely illuminated because the sun is straight at the back, 180 degrees back this way. Oftentimes, the shadow of the Earth might just pass by the moon, which is typical, but this time it's going to go right across the moon. So, first of all, we'll switch computers and take a look at what type of viewing conditions we have for tonight, and it does look good. Great viewing conditions. The skies are going to stay clear, the visibility crisp, and everything is going to work out very, very well for the viewing. Now, I want to talk about what you're going to see. This is what's called a penumbral lunar eclipse. That's when the moon, you see it there, if we can come back to the graphic so I can show, I can point this out. The moon right here is in what's called the penumbra. Basically, the Earth is round, and as the sun is you're getting two sources of light going around the Earth here. So what happens is uh, you have a lighter shadow to the north and to the south here. This is called the, pe the penumbra when only some of the light is blocked. This is where all of the light is blocked. So the moon will go through the penumbra, then the umbra, and then back out through the penumbra. And I want to show you what it's going to look like. We'll switch computers here and uh, just kind of take a look here. This is uh, what the moon would look like. That would be the penumbra coming across right there. And then this would be the full moon, the, uh, the total lunar eclipse. And then this is the way it's going it's to exit from north to south there. I want to show you these, what we call the uh, simple graphics here to take a closer look. See if I can get that to, to hold. All right. So this is the shadow. We're seeing it come through. So this is the penumbra right in here as it's coming across. That's going to happen about 3 o'clock in the morning or so. And then the first, right here, about uh, actually about 3:15 is when the full shadow, the umbra, will start to come across. That's when you're really going to see the moon starting to change its color here. This will be the beginning of the total lunar eclipse right here. That's going to be at 4:27 or so, and then it goes right through the shadow, comes across, and this here will be about six o'clock or so. And then by the time Roland gets up, uh, it'll be all done, and everything will be passing <laughs> on down. The side. You and know we it. won't have to worry about him turning into a werewolf. Yes. Well, you know, we're talking all about this because we want people to take pictures, so we don't I have know. to get up tomorrow morning. But yeah. that would be helpful. No, it send the pictures to us. We'd love be to worth see it. Them. Send them to I contribute. We'll okay, show them tomorrow night. I can just tell you that the moon was so bright last night, it yes. kept me up for hours, and so there's no way I'm going to stay up Well, <laughs> <laughs> apparently so. It'll darken, and then you'll fall asleep. <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. From Master Chef to Hell.